big story of the day is still developing tonight. Maureen McDonald's one year and one day sentence on her conviction of accepting thousands of dollars in gifts in exchange for promoting a company. This broke on Wavy News 10 midday and on Twitter. Aaron Kelly tells us now what's next for the former first lady. Andy Fox talked to the former governor, Bob McDonald, on today's sentence, as well as what's next for him. We're going to start things off with Aaron. Aaron. Well, Judge James Spencer called this case tragic, sad, and puzzling. He called Maureen McDonald a good person who had a downward spiral in her life. Before he gave her her sentence, we heard from Maureen McDonald for the first time. On her final trip into the federal courthouse in Richmond, Maureen McDonald maintained the silence of the last two years when her life switched from that of the former First Lady of Virginia to the subject of a corruption investigation. But inside the courtroom and before the judge, it all came spilling out. She finally had her opportunity to explain how she has felt through the last two years of this ordeal and to apologize to everyone that she's hurt including herself, her family, her friends, the people of the Commonwealth. Quote, my marriage is broken. My family is hurting. My reputation is in shatters, Maureen told Judge James Spencer as she and her daughters cried. Earlier in the day, witness after witness worked to repair her reputation, tarnished during a five-week trial that put the McDonald's public lives on display. Maureen, anything you'd like to say about the sentence? Do you think that's fair? Judge Spencer questioned the McDonald team strategy, calling it a, quote, curious throw mama under the bus defense. He sentenced her to 12 months and one day, six months fewer than what prosecutors wanted. The sentence that she received, although we're disappointed that she has received a sentence of incarceration, the sentence that she received, although we're disappointed that she has received a sentence of incarceration, we are very happy that the judge gave her a sentence that is lower than what the government sought. Now, prosecutors had said that the only difference today between Bob McDonald and his wife is that Bob was a public official. They said that the two of them acted in concert and called the crime um, one of opportunistic greed. Lawyers for Maureen McDonald plan to appeal. She'll be out on bond during that process. Live in Richmond tonight, Aaron Kelly, 10 on your side. And our live team coverage continues with 10 on your side's Andy Fox. And Andy, you got exclusive reaction from the former governor. We saw that live midday. So what else did he tell you? Yeah, Tom, it really was quite extraordinary for everyone that was watching our noon show. This sentence broke as our noon show was on and people were coming out of the courthouse and we were just grabbing them as they were walking by. You will see this in this report and you will also hear Bob McDonald in an extraordinary interview talk about his marriage to Maureen McDonald. This is the most detailed thing he has said about his marriage since this ordeal began two years ago. Live at noon, U.S. Attorney Dana Bente on Marie McDonald's sentence. We said what we, we had to in court, and the judge uh, explained his reasons, and as usual, he did, a, you know, explain exactly what, what he thought of it. Former Governor Bob McDonald thanked Judge James Spencer for the mercy shown his wife. Uh, I appreciate very much uh, Judge Spencer's uh, mercy and leniency for my wife today as he uh, granted to me uh, a month ago. Uh, I've been a lawyer for 25 years, and sometimes uh, juries get it wrong, and uh, I believe with all my heart that they got it wrong in this case. And uh, we look forward to pursuing our appeal aggressively in the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals. Secretary of Agriculture and Forestry under Bob McDonald and now under Governor Terry McAuliffe, Todd Haymore, he testified on behalf of Maureen McDonald. It's, uh, it's just tragic uh, to, say, to see the lives of, of, of these two great individuals uh, tattered the way it's been, their family. I mean, you heard it all today. Uh, it's just sad and tragic. In an exclusive live interview, we asked Bob McDonald about his family, about his marriage. What, what did it mean to have your three, three of your children there? It was uh, heartwarming, the support of uh, the children for Maureen and me during this time has been uh, been tremendous and you know but for my sons uh, taking exams at Vanderbilt my other daughter having a sick baby they'd all been here right right they kept talking about what a great fa what a great family you have and that that's a testament to you as a father five wonderful children struggles in your marriage working that out what is the future of that governor I really can't comment on that I can just tell you that we have a 
a great love for one another, but uh, even in loving families, there's uh, challenges, Andy. And, you know, with God's grace, we're going to get through uh, all of these. And right now we're focused on vindication. A very confident Bob McDonald talking with a great deal more confidence about vindication. Now, some of you at home might be wondering, why did Maureen McDonald get one year plus one day? Well, in the federal sentencing system, if you get more than one year, you can become eligible for early release based on good behavior. So because she is sentenced to one year plus one day, she could be eligible for that. That's the reason why she was sentenced to one year and one day. In Richmond, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.